We just kept waiting and waiting, and then finally Amani and I had to carry him all the way to the healthcare room. I didn't find the teacher anywhere around. Stop giving excuses. You were so selfish that you just went away. Uh, no. Uh? That's right. I won't forget what you did yesterday, Fujiki. <laughs> you even bugged the marathon meet practice yesterday. That's so selfish of you. That's because I had a cold and I really couldn't. I don't believe this at all. Yeah. Please, guys, I'm not all that selfish. No. Of course you are selfish. Don't you remember the other day at the graveyard you left me and ran away? Maruko. Oh, Fujiki. Please try harder. Fujiki, I can see something shining there. It's been shining for quite some time now. Oh God, maybe it's a fireball. I'm sorry, Maruko. I'm going back. Huh? I'm going. Fujiki, please don't go back. You're not going back, okay? No way! You go by yourself! Hey, Fujiki! <laughs> Fujiki has gone away! What do I do now? I have to go back alone! Oh no! You have no idea how scared I was at that time! I've never seen a selfish person like you! Yeah, she's right. Why are you calling me selfish? I don't think I've done something wrong. You are! Selfish, and everybody knows that. And it's really wrong on your part to have not realized it. You all have misunderstood me. Fine, I'm ready to change myself. Tell me, what am I supposed to do? I guess it's really difficult to get over this behavior. You know what? I don't think it's easy to get over your selfishness. Let's form an association <laughs> called Getting Over Fujiki's Selfish Behavior. It's something that's not needed, but still. I'm really sorry. You'll have to go through all this because of me. It's a lot of trouble, but we don't have a choice right now. I guess all of us have to put in some effort to set right your behavior. Hmm. Hmm. I will surely make up for this. And that's how we formed this association called Getting Over Fujiki's Selfish Behavior. Oh wow, that's awesome. Who all are there in this Maruko? There's me, Nagasawa, Yamane, and Kazugi. Oh no, this girl is a member of another stupid association now. I know it's not an easy task, but why don't you suggest me something to help out Fujiki? Well, to be frank, you know, I really don't have anything to suggest to you. I get it. We've never been selfish. It's a little difficult for us to brainstorm about this, but I'm sure we'll come out with a solution. <laughs> I hate these kind of silent, selfish people. Yeah, but these violent and selfish people are also a disgrace. Huh? <laughs> I'm a selfish man and I don't care how many people I have been blunt to till now. Watch out! I am violent and I am selfish! <laughs> You're right! It's a disgrace to associate yourself with a boy who's so violent! 
See, I told you. These guys are always up to something bizarre. You bet. These guys are a bunch of losers. They're weird. Hey guys, we definitely have to help Fujiki get over his selfish behavior. Oh, come on. He's still a kid. I don't think you have to be judgmental. That's true. I totally agree with you. Let's leave the matter as it is and let's not make a big fuss about it. You know what? He's a crybaby after all. He'll never improve. Oh, you can stop degrading him now. There's no question of degrading him, Maruko. What is it then? <laughs> Will you just stop bothering him now? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. He's fine the way he is. I'm back home. Mom, can you tell me how to overcome selfishness? Huh? What are you saying? Fujiki is a very selfish person, so we want to do something to help him out. Right now my mind isn't working, so we're not able to come out with a solution. What on earth makes you say that Fujiki has got a selfish personality? Don't you know what happened? He left me behind at the graveyard the other day, and yesterday Kosugi fell down and he ran away without helping him. Oh, come on now. You can't call that being selfish. Poor fellow must have got scared. You can't call that being selfish, Maruko. Oh, come on, Mom. It's very serious, you know. He has been selfish with a lot of other people. And he says that he wants to overcome this kind of behavior of his. Mom, what if I had been a selfish girl? Wouldn't you have tried to bring a change in me? Tell me. Yeah, I would have. So please think about Fujiki, Mom. I know he's not your child, but at least try to help him get better, please. I really think you should leave this matter to Fujiki's parents. It's not really right on your part to do all this. Yeah, maybe. At the same time at Fujiki's house. <laughs> Selfish. Someone who only thinks about herself or himself. A conduct which is not fair and square. But to be frank, I'm not like that. Why do people think that I'm selfish? The food is ready, dear. Okay, mom. Dad is back home early today, so we can all have dinner together. Hmm. Mom, it's going to be sad once she gets to know that her son is a selfish boy. Uh, what do I do? We're going to have a family dinner tonight, but I don't have an appetite. I wonder if I ask my parents about this. I want to become selfless and not selfish. Eat fast. Your food is becoming cold. What's wrong? Are you all right, Fujiki? You know what, Mom and Dad? Everyone called me selfish at school today. I feel so bad. They call you selfish? Yes, and even I have realized that I'm a bit selfish. What do I tell you, Mom and Dad? All my friends have started hating me. I want to get over my selfish behavior, but I know it will surely take some time. Oh gosh, this is so bad. <laughs> I'm going to break down any minute. <laughs> Dad and Mom, please help me out. Do something, please. <laughs> Fujiki's mother, see how he has become. This is all because of the way you brought him up. Come on now, stop complaining. It's all because you left it completely on my shoulders. How can you even dare to blame me for this? How dare you blame me for this? Will you stop it now? He has become selfish just the way you are. No, he is following your footsteps. It's simply your fault. What are you saying? Don't tell me he's it not like you. It is you and because of only oh you. Oh gosh, so you both of you them are so selfish. Why do you shout? I think being selfish is in my blood. I wonder if I can do something about it. I guess even I'm like them. I'm in a difficult situation. I'm gonna lose out on my friends. Hmm. 
God, please help me. The next day at school. Okay, let's start with the getting over for Jiki's selfish behavior meeting. Yeah. Let's all put in our presentations one by one, starting off with Kusugi. So Kusugi, what do you have? Eh? Do you want me to start? If you don't, why don't you ask someone else to do it? Fujiki is standing right next to me. Why don't you ask him to start? Are you trying to run away from this? I guess we've got to add your name to the selfish association. That way you can give company to Fujiki. Eh? What's wrong if Kozuki has to start it? If that's the case, I'll start. I spoke to my mom about this last night and she thinks Fujiki hasn't done anything wrong. Oh, Maruko, you're still standing up for me in spite of the fact I left you behind at the graveyard. Maruko, you're being nice to a selfish guy like him? You're just being too hard on him. Initially, even I thought that Fujiki is being selfish. But when I spoke to my mom about this, she said it's a very small matter and that we should leave it to his parents to sort it out. My parents? How do I tell them that my parents are selfish too? Oh no, oh no. I feel so miserable. Okay, now listen to me carefully. Oh, okay, go on. If that was the thing, then you should have done it before. Based on my research, I found out that there are different types of selfishness. I'm sure you guys are not aware that there are so many different types of selfishness. Oh, really? I didn't know something like this existed. Yeah, Mariko, I never thought of something like that. Oh, that wicked lady in the Snow White story? You know what? I think she has a very selfish look. <laughs> <laughs> but I think Fujiki's looks are way better than that wicked old lady. After all, he just disappeared on me. That old wicked lady was not at all selfish. All that she was doing was trying to murder. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. I got a book on physiognomy. It's a very interesting book. You can get to know a person's nature by his face. Let's go through it. I'd like to know if you bought this specially for Fujiki. Amazing! You're like a guide to the getting over Fujiki Selfish Behavior Association. <sighs> I know he's selfish, but what can I do? He's my friend after all. Nagasawa! Okay, let's look out for what kind of selfish person Fujiki is. Little curved eyebrows, eyes always eyeing someone like shown in the picture, undefined nose and dried up lips. Each and every part is defined in this book. I think this face resembles Fujiki's. Hmm. I really wonder and I'm curious to know whose face could this be? I don't think this picture over here fits into Fujiki's personality. Hmm, I'm sorry, but I still think it resembles Fujiki's. If he improves on his facial appearance, he might get over his selfishness. Uh -huh. You're uh, right! That's a great idea! This is awesome, I'm really happy for Fujiki. Please tell me, what am I supposed to do? Hey Fujiki. I know my face looks selfish, but I really can't do anything about it. I have inherited this from my parents. Being selfish is in my blood. I hope you understand what I'm trying to tell y'all. Huh? What are you saying? You must be joking! And that's the reason I can't change my face nor my behavior. Uh, no, no, don't say that. Take a good look at me. I have inherited this face from my grandfather and I have really high cheekbones. I really can't do much about it. But at times I wish I could do something to change my looks. So I just try to keep smiling. I can't tell you how much I envy your looks. Oh God, this is getting too much now. It's making me crazy. I now know what she's talking about. 
You know something guys I have inherited this weak kind of laughter from my ancestors huh? and I can't do anything about it Great People who laugh vaguely are entirely different from people who laugh openly because they don't exhale while laughing It may seem disadvantageous to some but actually it is very advantageous to those who do it <coughs> You're right and you know something if you laugh without exhaling you will live a longer life Oh god in that case I'll die very soon I know people like you live life on your own terms but you got to be very very careful or else you could land yourself in a big mess Do you get what I'm trying to tell you Maruko You're right I have to be more careful In my opinion Kusuki's face resembles that of a sumo wrestler Yeah you're right Oh is it I think I should think about this. I think it's great to become a sumo wrestler. Huh? You never know you could become the hero of the country. Yes. Because I'm fat, I think I'll make use of this opportunity. I'll work for it. Uh! In line, in line. Get set. I have a face that looks like an onion. Maybe I should start working as onion uncle in the coffee shop. I have big plans. I hope it works out. Your milkshake. That's a good idea. I must say that's an incredible idea, Nagasawa. I can't help myself because I have an inherited weak stomach. Huh? I don't think I can be a supermodel. People with a low appetite can never put on weight easily. I'm sure you'll make a very good supermodel. Me, a model? Oh wow, I must tell you that I really envy you, Yamane. You don't have to be jealous. You're going to be a sumo wrestler. Y'all are going into totally different professions. No. I just meant that I was a little jealous. That's about it. Me, a model? Flaws are not going to help you out with anything. Ah! It's better you correct your flaws right away. Unfortunately, you have inherited it. Well, Maruko had no option but to keep her inherited flaws just as they are for her whole life long. She loves everyone, she's got 
Gently reaches for stars that she can